Okay, after two days of running this cell at um, varying currents and voltages, I thought I'd pull apart the plates just to see uh, what's actually going on and uh, see if we can learn anything from reading the plates. So basically this is the positive, which is the anode. It's the sacrificial anode. So this is the stainless steel surface that will slowly but surely wear away. The deposits come from this cell, go onto the negative. That's the cathode. That's all this black stuff. I don't know what you call this black stuff, but I'm sure it has deposits of chromium, hexavalent chromium-6 and nasties like that. So you've got to be a bit careful about that stuff. Don't be touching the water and don't be touching the cells. I don't know parts per million how bad this stuff is, but you know, Erin Brockovich, uh, you know, she sort of suggested maybe they were swimming in the water and that. And being that your body is one big gland and it will absorb all that stuff, I think maybe it does require a bit, but I don't know. So I certainly uh, wouldn't in any way um, advocate um, touching this stuff after it's um, uh, been used without gloves. Uh, now, or for that matter, also breathing in HHO gas, which I have done a few times and have learnt since that uh, you know a very well ventilated area besides the risk of explosion is probably a good idea, I'd say. Now, looking at this here, this cell, I've got um, copper plating on the outside and I've got a series of wires all attached to each other in parallel, all the same length. Um, some of the solders actually um, were a bit hotter than most of them and you can see that's apparent, uh, for instance, this one here. So uh, that, what that did was made that a bit closer to the uh, other plate because it expanded. I can feel a slight bump when I run my finger over there, very, very slightly. So uh, that does suggest to say that if you have um, irregular plate surface, you will get an irregular uh, current draw. It doesn't seem to have built up any more black stuff there than anywhere else in the cell. Although over here on the edge here, I do have a bit of an irregularity. Might have been a area where they may have leaked a little bit, I think, because I did have a very slight leak, and I would say that was in this area here, and that's because I actually broke the seal on this side here. I actually used a hammer on this side to try and get this flat. So um, my way of sealing the cells works very, very well, but if as it doesn't put it create a, a, a massive amount of pressure, any irregularity in the cell needs to be dealt with. Best to not have an irregularity in the cell. So we have uh, these flames, sort of, uh, I don't know what you call them, but I've heard a few technical terms for them, but anyway, um, I had this cell on an angle, like this, um, about like that. Normally it's supposed to be on a 45, that's what it's designed for. So I'd say that would be more sort of along there. Um, I did have only one millimetre gap, but I'm thinking uh, a two millimetre gap on a gulp and burble cell. Uh, that's what I call this cell because it sort of gulps the uh, electrolyte in and then it um, burbles out the gas. Quite irregular, but regularly irregular. So that's good. You know, every second or so it, that's out a bit on the very, very lowest amount. Sorry about my video editing skills, a little bit one-handed really. So, um, okay, uh, what I'm going to do is rebuild the cell after uh, I sort out this uh, slight leak issue here. And I'm going to put uh, a two millimetre plate gap in there. I believe that'll help the gulp and burble a bit better. It's not a problem for me to have a slightly bigger hole here because it's not a leakage hole. Um, so uh, I can have the biggest hole that uh, I can actually afford um, um, in respect to all the different piping and tubing I've got, which will probably allow me to have uh, maybe a half inch hole. Um, that should be pretty good. Uh, so yeah, there we have it. That's what's going on. You can see uh, that this form here is just basically with a different level.